can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. Uh, sixth question, the second set of the chapter five. Uh, so it says, the uniform concrete slabs has a mass of, you know, 2,400 kg. Determine the tension in each of the three parallel supporting cables when the slabs held in the horizontal plane shown. Um, so yeah, first of all, let's draw the for, uh, free body diagram and put all of the forces in there. Remember, uh, you know, the tool, 2,400 kg, that has a weight. Um, so you can calculate the weight uh, out here, W, we'll just write it out um, for future references. If you put that into calculator, 2,400 times uh, 9.81, it should give you uh, 235. Four four newtons, right? And then um, we can't use some of the forces method because there are too many unknowns. There are three unknowns, so that wouldn't give us anything. We only have have all the forces into one direction. That is the z-axis, right? So what we can do, uh, you know, to the next step is use the some of the moments of an axis, right? Um, well, let's pick whichever the one that can get rid of the most amount of unknowns. The answer is X, right? Because we can um, get rid of two unknowns, uh, TB and TA, right? because they are on the axis. So they don't generate any moments uh, on the axis. So instead, we can do, so then we just write everything out. Um, 15K Newton. Uh, times the, from the position of the force to the shorter distance to the axis that is a perpendicular distance which is 0 0.5 meters and um, so if we you know, to whether to determine this is positive or negative using the eyeball methods right for look, looking at from this way um, this force would generate a circle around the x-axis like that uh, therefore it is a clockwise rotation therefore we say it's negative Right, and um, looking at this force over here real quick, it's going in this direction, right? TC is going into this direction. That means it's positive, right? Because it's going counterclockwise. That's how we measure angles, right? We measure from the x-axis and move it, you know, counterclockwise. So this is so 15 kN. That's negative, right? And then here's a weight. The weight is also negative, right? It's going to the same direction as uh, the 15 kN, the net force. Um, so we, we can plus these together. So first the Newton, that is 2, 3, 5, 4, 4 uh, times the distance. Well, it's right in the center because it's uniform. Um, so 2 meters plus 0 0.5 divided by 2, that sure gives you 1.25 meters right from here to here um and equals uh the t uh, tc uh, times the distance which is uh, uh 2.5 meters right you see what i'm doing because if we move everything to this side uh, these two numbers onto this side it will be negative and then there here will be zero um but this is just you know a simplified version of what we're going to do uh so yeah, after you type everything into the calculator, you should get solve for TC, tension SC, that should give you uh, 15,772 newtons, uh, three sig figs, that is um, three, uh, sorry, 14.8 newtons, right? K, uh, kilonewtons. So you can write here, 14.8 kilonewtons. And then here we have the, uh, we're going to solve for the other forces. So what's the other axis we can use, right? We can use the y-axis because there's no force can generate any moments around the, for the z-axis, right? So we can use the y-axis. Uh, using the y-axis, so we get, we still do not have to use TA. We do, now we have to use TE, um, but since now we know um, TC by now, so one equation with one unknown. We guarantee to find it. So TB, right, so finding the weight, uh, the weight which is 
this thing over here. The weight times uh, right in the center, so that's two meters, right? Four meters in total divided by two uh, minus TB, right? TB times this is two meters, right? TB times two meters minus TC times four meters and um, plus 15 kilonewtons uh, times three meters. And this whole thing gives you zero. All right. And if you solve for everything, we know what TC equals to, which we'll is find out over here, right? We know what W is equal to, uh, put it over here. So altogether, uh, you only need to find for TB, and uh, TB should give you two, uh, 7,272 newtons, right? Or 7.27 uh, kilo newtons. So write it up here to 7.27 kilo newtons. And then um, now we can use some of the forces because there are only one unknowns left. And some of the forces give A only has one equation into the z direction for the right going. So the sum of the forces in the z axis, z direction, let's just say going upwards is the positive version. That whole thing gives you zero. Therefore, it is, um, well, TC plus TA plus TB uh, gives you 15 kilonewtons times the weight, which is 2, 3, 5, 4, uh, 4 newtons, right? So for TA, you know, we already know what TC is, we already know what TB is, right? Uh, TA, oh, I'm sorry, wait, copy down the right hand, so I'm wrong answer. 700, uh, 7,272 newtons. That's for TA, my bad. Uh, so 2.72 kilo newtons. What TB should equal to is uh, 16,500 newtons, which is 16.5 kilo newtons, right? Newton. And so TA is 7.27 and TB is 16.5 kilonewtons, kilonewtons. And that's all for this question. This is a relatively simple one. Just have to uh, be familiar with the finding the moment around an axis and you should be able to solve this problem without, without any issue. Um, so yeah, hope this video was a big help. Uh, sorry for making a mistake. I'd be careful and the future videos. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you around. Um, good luck and bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.